Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel Insta Yarn Creations. So in this video tutorial I'm going to show you how to do the magic ring or the magic circle as it's sometimes called as well. So this particular crochet I guess stitch or method of starting a project can be quite hard to to do. Um, I do find that it takes a lot of practice, you know, repeating, repeating it over and over again. Um, when you start making, you know, like uh, face scrubbies in the round, um, you usually start with a magic circle. I mean, there are other ways to do it as well, where you just chain and then close in your your chain. But in this particular video, I am going to focus on the magic ring and show you how I do the magic ring and that it seems to work really well for me. I, when I first started and learned this, I also watched YouTube videos and I did, I had to watch a few because I found it very confusing. Um, but as I went along, I just kind of, I think, grasped my own way of, of doing it. So I want to share that with you and maybe for those that, you know, are having a hard time learning the magic circle, you'll be able to to learn from my methods. So let's get started. So the first thing that I do is I just take the end of the yarn in my right hand and then I wrap it around my fingers and then I come up to the top and I make an X and then I just hold it there. Now I'm going to take my hook, I'm going to go under this side and then I come over this one and I grab it and then I pull it up and I make a loop. So from there, I take my fingers out and now it looks like this. So now you have this ring with this, this strand here which is what you'll use in the end to pull your circle in so that you don't have a hole in the middle. So no matter what I'm doing, whether the pattern asks for it or not, I always chain one. So I'm just gonna grab the, the yarn and pull through and bring up a loop. So I always do that regardless of whether it asks for it or not. And the reason I do that is because I always find that the first stitch that you do is hard to find. Um, so by doing this, this is the one that gets hidden so that I know where my first stitch is. So I'm just going to do, I'll do eight single crochets into this ring. Okay, so you go into the ring and you're going to pull up a loop. So you pull through, there's one, again. Just want to make sure that you're going around both of those strands that are inside that circle. Okay, two, now what I do here is I now pull this tight so I just want to keep pulling and then this is where I'll normally so now I know that this is my first stitch because that was that chain that I made so now I'll slip stitch so a slip stitch you just go in and then you come back through, you don't pull out a loop. And then that kind of closes it off. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull on this. I don't wanna pull too hard. Sometimes I've had the, the yarn 
doesn't break, but cotton's pretty sturdy. But as you can see, you can close that loop right in. And now there, you can't even really see that there's a hole there. Okay, and that is how you do the magic ring with a single crochet. So in like a few seconds here, I'm gonna show you how to do a magic ring with using the double crochet. Okay, so now I'm gonna do the magic ring again, but this time we're gonna we're gonna make the ring using a double crochet. So again, I'm gonna take the yarn into my right hand, and I'm gonna wrap it around these two fingers and come up to the top, and then I use this finger to hold it in place. And then I'm gonna take my hook, go in under that one, and then grab this one. And then as you come up, you bring up a loop. And carefully take your fingers out and then now what I do is I hold on to all these strands here and then I'm gonna make a chain okay so I'm gonna do six double crochet so we're gonna yarn over we're gonna go through the middle of the ring and pull up three loops and then we're gonna yarn over and go through two loops and then go through the next two loops. Okay, I'm going to yarn over again, insert into the ring, pull up a loop, yarn over, go through two loops, and then go through the next two loops. Again, we're going to yarn over, go into the ring, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two loops, and then pull through another two. So that's three, do three more. Okay, so that's six double crochets that I just did in the magic ring. So now you take the tail end here and you're going to pull. And I just get as close as I can so then I can slip stitch to close off the ring. And I insert into that first stitch, which is right there. And just pull through. And then we're just going to pull right through that one. And that has closed off our ring. And then you can tighten this. And there is our magic ring and using the double crochet stitch. So I hope you've enjoyed this and I hope that this helps you learn the magic ring. If you have any question, please leave a comment below. And let me know if this if you found this video useful, if it was easier for you to understand how to do the magic ring. Please stay tuned for my next video. Uh, hopefully it'll be coming up within the next couple of days. I do plan to actually do a project with you. I'm kind of introducing or incorporating some of the stitches that we've learned already and of course using the magic ring. So I'm excited to share that with you so please make sure that you subscribe so you get notifications of my next video to be posted.